Hi everybody, it's Elle here to do an additional read for Aquarius because I felt like the last read was specific to a set, a group of Aquarius. So I was moved to do another reading for Aquarius. So here goes. Uh, I'll save the announcements to, to the end, alright? So the first row is love, career, and finance, additional cards of support. It's going to be really short because Aquarius has already had a mid-July reading, okay? All right, so at the bottom of the deck for love, we have the Magician. Okay. All right, let's see what this is about. I won't speak on it just yet. Let's see what the other cards are. Strength. The Emperor. The High Priestess. The Devil. The Page of Swords. Immediately, it looks like someone is... In secret, they're trying to manifest something. Now, this could be you, Aquarius. Like, you're trying to manifest a connection. Maybe a karmic one or a strong... A, a really strong connection that you have with someone. It could even be, like, telepathically and psychically. Um, this is someone you already know. You could be trying to manifest this relationship or they could be. Somebody is talking about you. Is spying is uh, gossiping maybe but somebody's looking at at maybe social media looking at old pictures looking at something they're they're maintaining their strain in the position that they are in right now for some of my Aquarius there's a person who's already attached who's already in something they um, they want to come to you but they're trying to uh, they're trying to do this in secret. They're holding on to some things. They're trying to listen to spirit, and I believe so are you, Aquarius. You guys are karmically and spiritually attached to this person. Someone's trying to maintain strength here. Leo, Capricorn, Taurus, Aries. They want to come to you, and they and they, eventually they will. Or vice versa. But I really feel like it's the other person towards Aquarius. Um, they may already be in something. They're trying to get out of some toxic situation. They're just really trying to clear up the mess. Because they're really trying to manifest something real and stable with you. Eventually. And, but they keep on looking at you. They keep on... It's something about spying or... Not even... It's not malicious. It's just more so... I miss this person. I'm just talking to this person. Um, yeah, they're just keeping you in their energy. Or this could be vice versa. You're doing this with someone else. I really feel like this is a man. It could be even an older man or just a successful man. This could be a woman doing this to maybe an Aquarius man. It could be vice versa You or same sex, whatever. But I really feel like this is a man who's already, may, could even be a father um, of, of someone else's children or the father of your children. Um, could be a husband they're trying to get out of something so that they can actually come toward you because they know if they don't you will either do this to them you'll cut them out energetically okay okay so let's move right along to career and finance all right sorry bottom of the deck the tower all right so something unexpected unexpectedly happens in your career and finance um, this could be the shakeup of, of your foundation or this could be manipulated by you or the universe or, you know, factors external to you. We have the Queen of Cups, the Ace of Swords, the Temperance, and Ten of Swords. This looks like the daily read almost. It, it looks like you already know something is happening. Like... You were just kind of waiting for it to happen. It's going to give you a new start. Um, it may be disappointing in nature. Uh, for some of you, it could be the loss of a job, uh, being laid off, fired. Um, whatever it is, is sudden. But it's almost as if you were already in tune with this. This also could be in love, too. There could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sagittarius. Um... Coming to you with some truth and clarity about maybe an ending. 
it's kind of sudden to you in some way it's related to your your finance and your and or your career you could be dealing with someone on the job let's see yeah strength again leo justice um yeah for some of you it could definitely be that um there's either a sudden layoff um separation from a a, a career path but it's almost as if you knew it and it's giving you a new start to do something that fulfills you on an emotional level that brings you balance or if leaving this job um involuntarily it gives you opportunity to start something new um it was for some of you it's gonna be um like you you know you feel like you were blindsided for some of you but at the same time i feel like you know because aquarius isn't blind to much they they'll try to act like it but i think you knew that this was um this was an option you know you being either laid off let go whatever however um also this could be in love somebody comes to you with news of an ending yeah ending in a relationship Let's see what the butterfly oracle card is. All right, under the deck, changing your mind. Yeah, looks like there is a change of mind, a change of course, leaving. Yeah, definitely, career and finance. Uh, something. There's some abrupt change here. Join in. Some of you might want to join a uh, different uh, job. You know, groups, job. Uh, uh, websites social sites networking um, it's a good way to of course find another position but it's also a good way to meet other people the next card of course finances it is highlighted for you now this could go either way and, and only you will know um, this could be that finances are good and they're, they're highlighted and they're significant for you and it's going to be great and lovely or this says you need to focus more on your finances because everything is not good it's not all pe peaches and cream it's not all you know um, it's not the way you need them to be right now finances are highlighted and then we have courage and we have strength here um, yeah have the strength to for some of you, you know, especially in love, it looks like um, whomever you're connecting with, you have a really strong bond with. They have a bond with you. You have a bond with them. But there is interference. There's outside interference. So a lot of times Aquarius just wants to walk away because this seems to be a bit too much. Not in a sense of oh I'm scared or I'm insecure but more in the sense of I don't want to deal with this anymore I've dealt with it for however long I don't want to deal with it it doesn't look like what I want but what spirit is telling you is that they're working with you and with this person to uh, bring you two together because there is a connection so you have to have the courage to see it through if you walk away then you make it even harder for spirit to bring you two together because now they have to get you back on board in, in regards to the way you know you really feel about this person even though you're walking away um i think it's really letting down the ego and um relaxing on the control issues aquarius you know your affirmation is i know you want to know that this is going to work you want to know that this is going to go the way you want it to go and when you don't know that then that's when you get a frustrated Aquarius who most times um, they'll say their piece page of source and cut things off and cut it out because um, it just doesn't look like something they want to be involved in it doesn't look the way it's supposed to look and uh, we're really big on that so anyway I hope that this helped you guys out it's a short little uh, read for the you know continuation of the last uh, mid-July read I just felt like uh, a set of Aquarius needed a different message all right so remember to comment below it automatically enters you 
in uh, the raffle to win a free five minute reading. Um, <clears throat> also, all of my information is below. If you need to get in contact with me to schedule a reading, email my web address, uh, InstaGo, if you want to ask a question or go over and follow me there. What else? Choose the funding page. Just, you know, if you want to help get new cards for the channel, send five dollars to InstaGo. Um, not to InstaGo, to uh, GoFundMe. The link is below. Um, what else is there? I'm on Instagram. My handles are below. Uh, I think that's it. Know that things are working in your favor, Aquarius. I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care until next time.